So there is this rumor, supposedly, that IITs are supposed to be the smartest engineers of the country. Is that true? Do you doubt that? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is totally a fake word. We can never say that. We definitely consider ourselves to be the best. <laughs> can you tell us how can technology, you know, help in you know solving these problems, especially climate change? Well, technology, of course, is one of the best tools to handle all these problems. Technology can change everything. That's how we came out of the Stone Age. In fact, what's this you're holding? I'd love to know more about it. The quadcopter. Show it to the camera. What is happening people? Today we are at India's biggest tech fest, Techriti IIT Kanpur. So this time we are asking India's top engineers in the making. We ask them about their dreams, aspirations and ideas to tackle the world's biggest problem, climate change. Are there any inventions you're working on or you dream of building one day? My dream project is uh, making a holographic uh, video calling. I've always been very interested in robotics and of course like making planes. So combine something yeah. with so these flapping two. wing, uh, flapping kind of a, like an insect. Also I have built a bird which flies like a bird and it's not a bird but it's a mechanical bird you can say. We can video call to each other from a distant place uh, without you using screen, just holographic projections. And um, then if we create air pressure, we can feel them. A virtual image. Innovation is not only something that is big and changes the world entirely. Innovation can be something that you do in your day-to-day -day life. But definitely I want to try something new, which is uh, so that I can help the society. So guys, there's this rumor that IIT is supposed to be the smartest engineers of this country. Is that true? I definitely don't doubt that. They've proven themselves to be hardworking. Right, and they've gotten through the toughest exams in the country. It's not making you special. It's about how hard you worked just for an year to clear an exam. So do you think IITians have more brains than other engineers? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> no, that's no way out. No. No? It depends on your dedication. I don't think your passion towards something can be determined by how well you fare in an exam. It doesn't matter. The so. difference is not in our minds. It's in the mind of the other people who are not in IIT. Yes, it's like comparing first CT students to the rest of the crowd. If the first CT students, okay, they are good at academics and they speak, but then the things that the last benchers do, they are unique. And the first benchers can't replicate them. Sometimes they are more talented than us. So, climate change. How do you think technology can do something about it? What can technology do about it? Probably the first thing is we have to accept that there's an issue. I don't think that we are accepting it. Global warming is a real thing. We cannot undo what we have already done to the environment without the help of technology. Technology can make a kind of difference in some this kind of stuff. I think uh, I heard about some gases which can make some kind of difference in the atmosphere. We can make more and more power saving things. A device that could clean up the ocean. Air purifier? Yes, if we, if we control the pollutions we are creating, we would first uh, think about the fuels. The root cause of pollution right now, which, what we see, I mean what I could see from the news and all, is like from Delhi we saw this, the root cause is the uh, vehicles, the vehicles, the particulate pollution and that. So this, instead of using fossil fuels, we can get into some renewable energy like electricity or hydrogen. So you see that uh, electric company, Tesla, that vehicle runs entirely on electricity and it is very much competitive as compared to a uh, vehicle that is powered by a fuel. We, instead of taking single cars, even though we have single cars, we all travel in the same car. So there are in initiatives where you get clean water out of uh, muddy water in Africa. So it's all, it's active carbon filter. So this is where technology comes in, to not only improve the environment, but to also improve human lives that are dependent on that. For making medicines, we are using many kind of trees, which uh, uh, essentially, essentially led to the deforestation. But by nanotechnology, like in medical field, we can just target the particular atoms. Decrease the amount of pollutants. Like we are using cycles. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are using cycles over here. See, we are looking at research business models relating to renewable sources of energy, namely solar energy. So we are looking at off-grid villages and trying to find these alternative business models, like alternative technologies which are being developed by people uh, in Kenya or somewhere like which haven't been that successful in India earlier. Everyone tells about that but no one actually does that. Personally, we'll throw stuff but the people will clean us first. We ourselves don't take any initiative. So I believe uh, apart from the technology, it's about a personal thing, how you take 
it seriously nothing else for example this road right it is not a very less frequently used road but see all the lights are on you can have some sensors or which can detect motion and just switch it on so uh, wherever you can say these are places like simple yeah I, mean, i think if the students here can do this technology do play a role and it's we that create technology so it's about how serious we are and how serious we take a technology in clearing some of the problems we are the ones who can make our india and our world up to that uh, mark and we have uh, technology coming up like you have a cycle which you cycle for an hour and you have electricity to power you for a whole day so it's things like this you save so much power if everybody starts incorporating these into their daily lives it's going to make a difference so what are your ideas to solve this problem please write down in the comment section down below like always to get all our fresh videos first on youtube click the subscribe button right here do the regular like and share on facebook by simply searching for quick reaction team i will see you guys next time goodbye what do you know when is international women's day no no uh, it must why do women keep long hair because men like long hair <laughs> What is it that you hate the most about guys? Their attitude. Guys speaking Haryanvi. Boys are like dogs and they used to say yes, we are dogs.